I know. Jim's book and hedge was a separate piece. And my book and hedge was crime and punishment. I know. I understand. But we are where we are. And you, among other things, swapped aspects of my life out with Jim's as well as with Ben's, right? And so now things are calibrating. I'm taking the young men downtown one way or another. I already know you set it up to try to frame me. You wanted me to be in some strange sort of Muslim fetish play where I either was apprenticing the young Muhammad in development as the middle-aged merchant woman or I got to play at some sort of underage yet preserve until they're of age. Promised to you, but hold off. And then at some point, maybe send them away to chastise them and then let them join you in battle, right? Well, that's not very acceptable or suitable to me. What is acceptable and suitable is understanding I come from a family that around 10, 11, maybe 12 years old would have engaged us in some sort of rite of passage, including connected to what we might be suited to do. In my case, I didn't go hunting. I went trapping. And if I had not gone trapping, I would not be alive today. But pretty much everybody else in my family, especially the male children, they would have went hunting, which means they would have had to learn how to deal with the wilderness, and they would have had to learn how to deal with the balance of nature, and they would have learned how to shoot a gun and kill something and have to take responsibility for taking the life of an animal with an understanding that some of the animals that they're going to be hunting have the actual body mass of a human being. And that figuring out how to put an animal in your scope and pull the trigger and take its life and dealing with all of the other implications is a way to kind of understand what it means to have the power of holding that gun to begin with. I'm just letting you know. There's a reason why members of my family went into the military, and there's a reason why my members of my family went into the police force. There's also a reason why they should have been kicking your ass right now. We are where we are. I've never held a handgun. I've hoped to live my whole life without ever having to pick one up. But we are where we are. You're not getting away with turning them into high asses that slutify themselves and go sleep with women as part of some sort of gaming spree. You're not going to turn them into little low-level runners that prove their way up the pecking order until at some point in time you make them beat the shit out of each other for no actual good reason except to demonstrate they can. There's other values that need to be instilled and there's other imbalances in this natural systematology. I don't need to hug them. I won't hug them. But they're of an appropriate age. They're an appropriate age. Now, are there laws against child labor? Yes, there are. And you already knew that. Are there laws against child sex predation as well as statutory rape? Yes, there are. And you already knew that. Are there laws against recruiting child soldiers? Yes, there are. And you already knew that. There are also laws against all of the other things you're trying to enchant them into doing. And when you went as far as you did with your narco economy and your sensationalization of commercial sex and drug consumption as a demonstration of loyalty, you already crossed the line. One way or another, you have every intent of murdering them. They have every every right to learn how to defend themselves. And if that means using lethal force to stop you from genociding their people, then that's exactly what they need to do. And if they go down in the process, they go down like men and women. They don't go down like whatever the fuck you think you're going to graft them into in this state. 